In this video, I'll show you how to replace your polarized LCD film for the following screens in the ICOM HF transceivers, the IC703, IC706, and the IC706 MK2G. The first process is diagnosing your radio, making sure the LCD screen is the problem. Here's an example of a bad LCD screen with the radio off. Here's an example of a bad LCD screen with the radio on. Notice how it's delaminating and it's lost its polarity. Let's get started. The first step is to remove the two Phillips precision screws on the back of the head. Then gently pry off the back plate, being very careful. Make sure not to lose the locking trigger mechanism on the side of the head and the small spring. This is located on the side of the head and is used to lock it to the radio. Next, remove the knobs the two smaller ones are the same size. Now we unlock the ribbon port on the board, being very careful not to crease, bend, or break the ribbon, and also making sure to save the white spacer if your unit has one. Go ahead and take out the microphone port and just let it hang there. And now we're going to carefully remove the board from the housing at this location in the center. It just takes patience and you just be real gentle with removing it from the body. During this, you have to be very careful that the ribbon doesn't get caught up in this slot while removing it. The 703 has a tuning dial attached to the housing faceplate. I would not undo this or take it off. It's easier to work with it on and I wouldn't undo this connection. I'll just leave it connected and lay it to the side. Also remove the buttons and clean them with soap and water. The second process is removing the LCD housing and removing the LCD panel. This is a very technical part of the repair and it's removing the metal frame on its connections. There's six of them very carefully without over bending them. Once you've removed the metal frame, you have the LCD panel behind it. And this is when you have to be very careful and make sure to mark and make notations on where every component is and goes. So here's the metal frame. It's been removed. And here's your LCD screen. And you can see how I have it still connected to the housing of the faceplate and this just simply comes off. It has factory adhesive on it, but these are three pieces, the screen and the two ports that connect the screen to the board. You have to be very careful and make sure not to misplace or rotate any of these items, your screen will be upside down and many other strange things can happen. So once you have this out and the adhesive removed, you have to be very careful with this portion. Here's the two communication strips. This is where the data goes through the board into the screen itself. These cannot be ro rotated or put back in any other order. 
Uh, if they are, you'll quickly see it on the screen that you made a mistake. So make sure to keep all of this organized. Now it's time to remove the first layer from the screen. And it comes off with a razor blade, shouldn't be too hard. And underneath, it might look like the screen is cracked, the glass is, cr the glass is cracked. But all it is is adhesive that we're going to remove with isopropyl alcohol, 90%. We're just going to wipe it onto the screen over and over until it turns the adhesive into a goo. And this goo can be easily scraped off with a razor blade. Make sure to be very gentle and patient. And after a while, you just get all the glue off and polish it up. And you can get it basically just like it once was from the factory. Okay, the third process is installing a new LCD film. The film comes with three film layers, two skins and a core. The skins are only protective layers. The protective layer that has a line on it is the clear protective fill film layer for the adhesive side. This is the side that you apply to the screen. The other side has a clear protective film layer with no line. This is just to protect it while you install it and you do remove this after it's installed and all the bubbles are pressed out. I've installed the LCD film onto the screen now and I've removed the bubbles using a credit card. Very patiently and gently. Now, look how the LCD has some weird grid effect on it. That's just the camera. Uh, but then I cut the LCD film to fit the screen by using the screen as a template. And I've then removed the final clear film layer and polished it again. It's ready to go. So here it is. We've pressed out all the bubbles. We've got it installed back onto the LCD screen itself. And we're ready to go ahead and do all the procedures in reverse. Well, here it is. It's finished. This is the ICOM IC703 QRP radio, which is typically used for CW. And it's looking good. Well, I hope this video helps you with your icon project and if you have any questions comment below and i'll try to help you the best i can thanks for watching and please click subscribe